Hi, my name is Dean Burke, and uh, I love storytelling. And so I wanted to give you guys a few tips here today to help you in your storytelling as well. Um, it's a little informal, so this in itself isn't going to be the best story, but I'll do my best here to, to give you some stuff here to help you get this uh, right the first time. Um, if this is your first time telling a story in front of a crowd, <clears throat> one of the biggest things you'll find that's um, be a surprise to you is the time limit. You've got 10 minutes to tell your story here with Boldly Went, and that's a really good amount of time. Um, if, you, if you're a fan of uh, TED Talks or TEDx, uh, that's a great resource because they've done a ton of work to find a sweet spot for storytelling and what, what is too long and what is too short. And you'll typically see in TED formats, on the short end, there'll be eight to nine minutes. <clears throat> and on the long end, they'll be as long as 18 minutes. But that's a very, very few people are, are able to tell a story for 18 minutes and make it good. Um, and not even all the, not, not all of the TEDs that are 18 minutes are good. <laughs> so uh, again, that sweet spot's really about nine to 12 is, is about where most people exist really well and feel comfortable listening, uh, no matter what your content is. So. I want to give you some tips today to help you stay within that. Um, we're not going to worry in this in this little session about uh, your story development so much. Uh, whether your you know your characters or any of that is is relevant. There's other places for that. Uh, what we're going to I'm going to give you is how to refine your story, <clears throat> so that you can carry it to the stage efficiently and feel confident about it and not be nervous. So we're going to look at this like you would uh, like puzzle pieces. So. You're going to break your story up into some pieces. The first step is write out your story uh, all the way through. Everything you've got, uh, start where you think the beginning is and write it until you think it's done. After you've done that, you'll have a, uh, you'll literally have a, a sheet of paper with a bunch of words on it. And after you take that and you've got your story, when you've got all your words, go through with a pen and draw an underscore line where you think the story changes in each break okay so you should see what, what we're kind of doing is is kind of making mini chapters right so you'll have all your content and then you're going to underscore a, a, a full break in the page to say this piece of content ends here here's the next one <clears throat> something i do sometimes depending on the story is after i've done that exercise and i've written everything out i literally take some scissors and i cut the page up into five or six strips or maybe it's a two or three page story and I cut it down into strips and I can see each little piece of content that's written in there and at that point I start to whittle backwards I start to remove words or and I also start to arrange the pieces because when they're broken into sections like that you can see is are the pieces of the story in the right order to support the story and you also find out which of those blocks are the most critical to the story you don't want to waste your valuable 10 minutes doing too much build up to get to the coolest part and, and only leave yourself a minute or two for what is the, the crux of the story or the, or the highlight of the story. So look at those pieces as you have them laid out. Consider the order, the arrangement of things. Uh, consider what's going to challenge the crowd and take them with you. Now, as you also begin to, to cut the words back, the next thing you're going to do, if you get nervous, a lot of people do, is you're going to make yourself what I call waypoints for your story. Waypoints, if you're making a book, is like making chapter headings of a sort. You don't want to make your waypoints ambiguous words like the beginning or the middle or the end. You want to assign words to your different pieces of the story that matter to your story, that are the pieces that are very personal to you, um, that, that would be the, the single word for each of those little mini chapters we've decided. So when you show up on stage, if you're nervous, or, or before you get up on the stage, you could even have a little note card that has five words on it. And those five words are going to be the order of your story, and they're the waypoints that you know that you need to land on to get to the next part, and to ultimately get to the end of this thing and feel good about it. You know that with those waypoints, if you blow it in between, if you just get to that next part, you will at least follow the order of the story, and you'll, you'll make it out alive. And that's, uh, that's a good little tip there to help you with that. So that's about it really. I just wanted to take you through the ideas of, of write it out, break it up into sections, check the arrangement of the sections. Do you like the way the flow of the story goes? Reduce words, get the word count down as low as you can, 
10 minutes flies by us, not a lot of time to tell a story. And then create yourself a little cheat card that just has the keyword for each of those sections in the order you want to tell it. If you do that, you'll be able to go up on stage, you'll feel comfortable, and get through this thing and, and look like a hero. Thanks.